Hi, you're now. Welcome to week six, which is to do with page 13 and 14. Okay, so page 13, what you're going to do is you're going to try and design your own label design for a product. Let me just turn the page around for you. So this bottle has a label on this side of it. I mean, if you turn the bottle around, you'll have a label on the other side. So I want you to do draw two labels, design two labels for both sides of the bottle. It could be for a sauce, it can be for a milkshake, it can be for a, a, a jar of something or a bottle of something, it could be anything. And then you also get these jars with keeps maybe your bolognese sauce or something in it. And you have the label is actually wrapped the whole way around and glued in the middle, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to design a label that would wrap the whole way around the jar. So it might include the pictures of the fruit and the vegetables that are in the sauce. Um, it might give me some nutritional information. It might give me a little product, a little competition or something to do. Be anything at all, then, okay? And then if we look at the homework, which is packaging nets, you may have done these in miles before. So what you have to do is you have to match the correct net to the correct box. So these nets are basically the boxes that have been unfolded and have been, they've been made flat on the table. So, and these are the boxes on the right hand side that have been constructed, built up. So if I was to lay this box, this box flat, which of the nets would it resemble? Which of the nets would it be, okay? You might want to think about your, your dice or about um, a little simple box. So if you have a little box, for example, that has something like this, this would be the bottom of it, this is the top and so on, okay? So they all fold up together. So number one, which is a flat net, almost in a triangular shape, which of these boxes would be number indicated by number one? So you can put down number one anywhere here. Number two, this is quite a large box with all different types of flaps and tucks and all the rest of it. So which one would it be? Number three, almost like a cylinder shape. Can you see anything here? It's like a cylinder shape. And that which box would it correspond to, okay? It can be quite a wee difficult one, but you have to try and imagine the box has been folded out flat. So which type of shapes do they basically resemble, okay? And so that's all for now. That was page 13 and 14. Uh, page 13 for working class, page 14 for homework. And um, that's all for now, so um, please make sure you subscribe. All the best, bye.